So friends, today we will be discussing the different parameter in which we have to do the uh, truncated wheel carving. So first thing we will need some uh, images of the design on which we are to, to do the wheel carving. The wheel carving which we always want to do is the perfect wheel carving. But some condition as per as I have dis discussed in the previous video, if you watch in that I have given some condition like uh, this one. So depending upon that condition, if not satisfied, we have to go for the go with the truncated wheel carving. I will show you how to do the perfect truncated wheel carving. So firstly, open the art cam. So as per the as as in the previous, we take the all uh, customers requirement. The same requirement I am taking here and uh, a length breadth and height and taking as a 12 mm here height as a thickness of the sheet raw material so firstly open the image on which you wanted to do the truncated or uh, perfect wheel carving so open the image first step is to create the vectors use the bitmap to vector and reduce colors from 32 to 2 colors and create vectors now you can see here the vectors are generated now reduce the contrast you can see here the purple pink color vectors. group the vectors you can also group here or right click <laughs> now cut the vector and select the new model now you can give the uh, size of the uh, panel on which you want to, to you I am taking here as uh, 1200 by 2400 in mm uh, high resolution and lower left corner always okay. and paste the vectors now to increase the size you the transform or press T of the big keyboard to make the you can pull the or you can if you want to make the uh, vector model at the center use function f9 key or just go in the vector align and center in model if you want to increase the model uh, size centerly use uh, press the, and hold the alt key and pull the any mm, corner points so like this you can do so in this we will do the bevel carving so first go in the toolpath to the toolpath and go in the bevel carving since our customers need is to have the uh, overall fine finish height or the final depth it should be 10 mm or equal to or greater than 10 mm since we have 12 mm as the maximum height so maximum according to the desirable condition we taking here as a 10 mm as the maximum height we will do and uh, we can also do it with the wall height as a 4 mm or 3 mm we can also do so i am taking here as a you know, 4 mm and the finish depth as a 10 mm and the first thing is to select the carving tool i am taking here uh, the condition that i am having only one tool that is uh, bp 32 mm and uh, 90 degree just select the tool and click on the center line you can see here the maximum height is the 252.131 so as per the parameter or the equation i have discussed uh, if we add it we will not able to satisfy the customer's requirement so the option here we have three options that is either adjust the size or the width we can adjust the size it will work also but the, if the customer needs only this size then we cannot so if we use the vbit uh, then also the 252 height we will not be achievable since the 12 mm is the very less height we have uh, also we if we adjust the w then also we cannot since the model is these kinds of models in this you can see the width is very less you cannot 
so in this case we have to go with truncated behavioral curve so i will be explaining you how to do it perfectly so now select the profiling tool as the roughening tool you can choose here as an end mill 3 mm or 6 mm uh, depending on the vector complexity if you are choosing the 3 mm take the step down as a 5 mm since it is a 3 mm it can break easily and but in a 6 mm if you choose you can directly give the step down as a 10 mm so that it will be completed in the one pass of the so just say ok and uh, you can select the 6 mm as a reference tool so now define the material and say ok and calculate now so you will get here the it will be truncated say yes so now you can see here the toolpath are generated now go in the toolpath simulation simulate all toolpath similar to path now as uh, I told means I have decided said you that sometimes in the truncated wheel current we have to do the irregular operation to remove these kinds of uh, material left so here we need to do the irregular also so we will first delete the simulation and uh, drag a mouse like this now we have to draw uh, another rectangle on the outer of the outer rectangle of this so that the close area will be changed press the control a select all the vectors and group the vectors now go in the toolpath to the toolpath choose the area clearance and uh, take the finish depth as a 10 mm as per our as we have take the requirement as a 10 mm choose here as the end will 3 mm and in say select you can see here the step down is a 5 mm and say offset 5 mm it will become a, a completed in two passes and say calculate now so you can see, see here the toolpath generated will delete the rest of the material since the close area after drawing the outer rectangle will be changed and it will clean the clean the left material or remove the clear uh, left material of the previous bevel car so now you can simulate and simulate all toolpath and you can see here you can see here the material that is uh, as per the previous it is being removed and you can see here now you can give the material on clicking the simulation you can select the material as a light oak uh, horizontal, horizontal and say apply you can see how the bevel car uh, truncated bevel carving can be done so you can see here uh, uh, also you can see the wall height here this is the wall height that is 4 mm so you can if you want to see the how the tool is going in the isometric view you can see in the control bar if you want to so now save the toolpath save the file in the length width height and uh, say here as a truncated as per your name you can give and uh, Save the toolpath in the new group 3 axis flap.mg file. Give the file names and save it at the desktop. So you can see here at the desktop there are three files are selected. So firstly do the roughening of the end mill, then do the area clearance, then finally do the bit carving of the bevel truncated. So I hope you and also always remember not to remember the clamping distance here is the measuring tool you can measure it the clamping distance to avoid the accident so i hope you will like this video and also give give me the positive comments and please subscribe
if for any inquiry you can contact me i will